Why don't they have a million subs already? Probably because you didn't tell your friends yet. Tell your friends. <laughs> okay, do it. Thank you. Bye bye. In this video, we're gonna be answering the top questions that you guys ask in our comments, but in an unscripted rapid fire format. Now, this is gonna be quick, so if you want us to make a specific video on any of these topics, then let us know. Let's do this! What does engage core mean? It's when you get on one knee and you propose to your stomach. I do! <laughs> okay, so the next time you're in the bathroom and you're pooping, you're gonna feel your stomach clenching and you're trying to push it out. That's when your core is engaging and you want to do that when you're dancing so you have better control. Hey, do you have tips for self-taught dancers? Get Steezy Studio. If you're self-taught, then try dancing with friends. Having community is really important and it helps you build beyond what you could ever imagine. How do you overcome the constant thought in your head of people judging you? I don't really fully ever get rid of fear. I simply have to learn to live next to it and realize that that thing is not gonna kill me. My body on full control when dancing. Like when I'm dancing, I constantly forget to get my body and hands in place like they shouldn't be hanging low, but when they are, my hands are my body. First of all, stop yelling. Okay, so this question is basically asking about dead arms. When you're doing something like, boom, and then this arm is like sort of dead over here, this means that you just put way too much focus on this arm. Record yourself and be like, that hand looks ugly, I need a pedicure. Deadly candy. Ooh. <laughs> this liqueur. <laughs> Hi, so my problem is that I can't move my hips. I mean, I can, but it's not fluid. Mm. Half of it is really not being afraid to go really, really intense into it, like overextend, and over time you can really like isolate it and make it look cool. Hey, at Steezy, are vans good for glides? I mean, they're not really good for drifting. Answer the question, Clark. <laughs> this is rapid fire. It really depends on what you like. The first reason you suck is probably because, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. I swallow, loser. What? <laughs> Dear Steezy, what is the difference between a master class and just a regular class? I think that that's a really wonderful question and that terminology of master class is grossly overused. It's just been blown out of proportion. Everything should just be a workshop. Yeah, I completely agree. I think there are some people that are masters and that's undeniable, but that line of where that stops is so blurry. Really, people started to just say master classes as more of a marketing term and then it got used a lot because it was successful and now it's confusing, which happens a lot in dance. It's really just semantics. Can you answer how you hit moves sharper, please? I always look messy. If you want to practice being sharp, you should actually practice dime stops. All you're doing is adding power to a dime stop. How do you know my exact struggles? Am I being watched? Yes. Am I unattractive, Jesse? Not in the slightest bit. <laughs> Wait, what about the top one? Oh, okay, sorry, I got excited. <laughs> I really want to work on emotions because I suck big time at that one. You should link up with this next guy. I have emotions and stuff. I'm just totally lacking in technique. <laughs> Hello, is it okay for girls to have broad shoulders in dancing? Is it a disadvantage? I'm really ashamed of my shoulders. You don't need to make them smaller. Dude, you don't need to change anything about yourself. That's so cool. You're a climber. Yeah. Your shoulders and your body build is gonna make you actually dance in a really unique way. That's how I got a toe wave, because I was fat and didn't want to move much. Sorry this is not related, but Jessie is so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty, I couldn't even focus on the video. Jessie should Thank be sponsored so by Ego and remove one of the G's. Oh my god. Hey Steezy, I asked my choreographer for tips after a class. First off, thanks for giving me the confidence to do that. They said I had the choreography down, but I seem timid. How do I bring out my inner slave? I have to talk to myself. I take a second in class, I breathe, and I envision myself as my highest self performing in the ways exactly that I want to, and then I go try and live it. She looks like she's enjoying it very much. Oh, I was talking about you. Yeah. yeah. She was. Yeah, I enjoy making really great videos for this channel. Ooh, fire! Hi, how are dynamics different from textures? Dynamics are how you switch things up. Fast, slow, high, low. Textures are the way that something feels or appears to feel. Can you guys give us tips on how to teach a piece? I definitely think that this is a whole separate video, so if you are interested, please leave a comment below and let us know. I love that you listen to your audience. Don't ever change, Steezy. What? what? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> hey y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a little bit different than normal. We're just answering comments and questions. But if you guys like this, let us know. I know that we normally do a deep dive into a topic in our other videos, but we wanted to try something different where it's a little quicker, a little more snappy, and a little more actionable. So if you enjoyed this, let us know in the comments. If you didn't, let us know, because we're obviously reading them. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Make sure you subscribe. It's a vibe. <laughs>